The Bible says you are the light of the world. Matthew 5, verse 14. But how are you going to be the light of the world, and how are you going to be the light of the world this week? Well, here's a simple way, and yet with profound influence for God's good. Smile. Smile often. Smile more than you have in a long time. Smile at everybody, even people that you pass, and make eye contact. Smile and make it sincere. Try this experiment this week. Whenever you meet people, whether you're familiar with them or not, try smiling. Try saying hello. What do you think that most of the people's reactions will be? Will they smile back or will they ignore you? Often more than not, you'll find that people smile and the greeting will be returned to you. But it's like an investment. It's accumulative. The next time you see that person, they will have a good feeling inside when they see you because of the way you made them feel. And you will, over time, develop a conversation, a communication, and I pray a friendship. I pray that friendship and harmony is part of your week this week and that it all begins in you. To have friends, you must be a friend first, and I pray that you are. Friendship and harmony need something to prompt them, and a friendly smile is a good beginning. Smiles transcend language barriers and barriers of any kind. They can bridge a seeming gap between generations and cultures. And so what if the other person ignores you? You don't know what they're dealing with in their life. They may have not even seen you. People can look right at you and not see you. At least you'll know that you have done your part to promote God's spirit of peace and love and light to others. And the world just has to be a better place because you were in it this next week. Because of your acts of friendship, your acts of giving smiles. So this week, join me in this experiment and share your own smile with the world.